Hi, I wanted to make an owl today. I have a very serious owl sculpted out of earthenware clay and he's kind of pet, uh, positioned on a birch pedestal. So I've got my earthenware clay right here. I'm going to take a good size lump of it. And if you notice, the owl shape is very much all one piece. The head and the abdomen are all together. I typically don't shape the head separate from the owl's body whenever I make one. So I'm just going to make this all nice and smooth. Patty cake it out and smooth out any of the wrinkles just to get an egg shape essentially, just a nice little smooth oval. And then too, because it is earthenware clay, it needs to be hollowed out. So I'm gonna just take a tool here and stick it up inside there. I hollow it out so it doesn't blow up in the kiln. If there's any air pockets trapped inside, that would expand during the firing and it would blow it up. And sometimes it sends shards through the kiln, blowing up other people's things too. So I've got this hollowed out. Now I can go in with my finger and push out a nice little tummy. Round that tummy out. He's been eating well. And I wanna get up in there too and define the head, the shape of the head a little bit more. There we go. And define the neck just by pressing in a tiny, tiny bit. There. Just a little indentation there. Because he's all just very much the same oval shape, um, not really defining a neck or anything. All filled with feathers. Okay, and again, accentuate that tummy. There we go. Good. I like that. All right. So now we start adding things to make it, you know, more like our owl here. So I like how on my little sample here, I've got the eye sockets. Um, it's not really, it's more exaggerated than the eye socket. I want a nice big ring around the eyes. And like I do with all of my animals, they're a little bit more of a caricature and kind of whimsical. So, I exaggerate some features and really on an owl, a, a natural owl outside, you're not going to see this big indentation, but because it's a sculpture in clay, that indentation helps to define it and make it look more clear. And then their beak is really strong, so I'm going to roll that out just into a little peak and make it nice and strong looking and bend it down a little bit and score and slip that on. There we go. Yeah, and then make two tiny little eyeballs. Is that tiny enough? Mm, it seems a little big. Maybe if I split that in half. That'll be good for both of them. Oh, it's under my nail. Huh, there we go. Now I've got two tiny little eyeballs. Okay, so I'll just take a little water with my needle tool and wet it a little bit and then poke that into position. There we go. And poke that into position. There. I love making this part. It's kind of, you know, we call that the horns. All it is is feathers, but I love that it's this um, really strong triangle shape. So all I'm gonna do is just keep pressing and pinching the clay until it looks like these feathered horns. I feel like it needs to be a little thinner. This is a little chunky looking, so I'm gonna get rid of some of this extra clay and pinch it on a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. And the thing is with owls, they're textured, they're completely textured with feathers. So while I have this in my hand, all I'm gonna do is take my fingernails and go bloop, 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 
bloop, bloop, bloop, bloop, bloop, bloop, just to make it look like there's feathers. And then we'll scratch and wet that on. Scoring and slipping both parts because you don't want things to come loose because you didn't score and slip it enough. Nice. All the way down. You want that peak to go right down to the beak. And that's why I do the eyes first so that I can position this very easily. Otherwise, you're trying to reconnoiter it all when you're putting the eyes in. So now, I want to take, let's see, do I want to take a tool and make the feather imprints? That'll work. Just those little indentations. Just taking the end of my needle tool to give it just a slight texture and that gives the illusion of feathers all the way around the eye. And of course the whole owl is covered with feathers, so I'm gonna go even behind in the back of the head and just kind of pat in this little indentation. So subtle, but it's there. And the glaze will capture that too. When I glaze them, every little indentation is exaggerated. There we go. All right, so I'll take a little bit of clay, even amounts too, nice even amounts and I'll roll that out, softening and bringing in all those bumpy edges. Roll it nice around, and now I'm gonna elongate it, but I'm gonna bring narrower a peak at the bottom and then flatten it. Kind of press it flat in my fingertips to accentuate the peak here and flatten it a little bit so it forms against the body nicely. That's gonna look good. Yeah, now I'll do the next one. Roll it around, smoothing in those bumpy edges. And again, rolling back and forth, forming it tighter at the base so that it has a peak and then I flatten it. Make it a little narrow so that it forms to the body nicely. If it's super thick and chunky, it's just gonna look way out of, you know, not natural. It'll look very out of place if it's too thick. So I'm gonna get rid of some of this because this one seems to be a little bigger. There we go, that's better. Cute. I mean, very serious, because owls are very, very serious. Let me see, ooh, I like this tool. I like to change up the feather texture when I do the wings. So I'm gonna use this popsicle stick that is just attached to a needle tool that was needing repair. Now it's got a slightly different texture for the wing feathers, which would be true to form because they tend to be a little longer on the wings, or at least in my mind they are. And I'm creating it so that works. There we go. Texture that up and score and slip it on. Next one too. Score and slip it on. So this is where you can really have fun. Is he reaching out? Is he waving? Is one up and one down? I think he just needs to look very serious and contemplative, so I'm gonna keep the wings down. Just watching guard. There we go. And do you see the little talons? Those are so simple to make. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Just gonna take a tiny bit of clay at a time, roll it back and forth, and then another one, roll it back and forth, and another one. I usually, just for fun, do three talons on each claw, and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So now I'm gonna take three of those that I just made and dropped and put them together so gently, just pressing so slightly so I don't pinch them too far apart or pinch them too thin and fragile. 
Just compressing them a little, little, little bit. There we go. And now I've got my talons ready to add underneath the tummy. Press that on. Oops, there we go. And press that on so gentle. So that's the owl. And if you want him sitting on a branch, so easy. You just roll out a coil, make it bumpy. It shouldn't be even and smooth and neat and tidy at all. Take a needle tool, slice the end of the branch, separate, use your wire brush, and put the bark on. Just bump it up, bump it up, bump it up, texture it like crazy. Make it really bumpy looking. He can sit right on his branch where he's watching guard. Bring that up there. All right. Thanks for watching.